Interview and job search strategies at work. This is episode 16, and I'm going to call this episode You Can versus How Can I. This is very cool one. So you might have been on YouTube. You might have been on uh, whatever site on Internet, Google, Google, and you're just looking for a side gig. You're looking for something. And you're like, okay, and these people say, you can you can do this, <laughs> but you want to you want to know how can I show me please how can I do this right? And I I found I found this podcast, and it's called the Side Hustle Show. It's awesome. You know, I started my whole podcast thing looking. What was my first thing? So I first first started. Uh, I remember being on YouTube, and I it was um, I heard. Uh, I watched this ad for this Dave Ramsey show thing popped up. Oh, okay, what's that? So I said, okay, it sounded interesting. I clicked on it, and um, I, I kind of like his show. Actually, it's kind of cool. Um, I like his uh, when people do the, like the debt free scream. That's pretty cool. I kind of enjoy that. Actually, I think that's really awesome. Or people get out of debt in a matter of months or a matter of years. That's just really cool. They're free. So the, if you've never Listen to that; it's pretty cool. Uh, which led me into this podcast called uh, the um, Entree Leadership, which is uh, pretty good as well. And so um, they're good and everything. Like the Entree Leadership is pretty good, but it's such it's such at a high level; it's way over my head. You know, that's people who are multimillionaires already. Like, whoa, whoa, just take it down. You know, a couple of zeros, right? Knock a couple of zeros off that into my realm. You know, and so in doing that, I found this other podcast named uh, uh, Entre, Entre, let's see, Entrepreneur on Fire, uh, John Lee Dumas, JLD is what he likes to be called. Pretty cool. And then listen to a couple of that. And again, same thing, just kind of over my head a little bit. You know, I mean, it's cool. It's a good, good podcast, by the way. Uh, and then which led me into the um, solar, Solopreneur Hour, which is awesome. A lot of cool stuff with that. Um, that guy goes into uh, – that's really good because he does a lot of um, how can I videos, you know, he, where his – people he interviews show tell you, this is how you can do it. This is how you can. And, you know, again, um, that was good. So then I – that led me into um, this guy, Pat Flynn, the smart passive income. It's pretty good as well. Uh, which led me into uh, a couple of different ones, which uh, life skills that matter. That one's a good one. And, um, and then finally, so the, all of those, I, I, I just uh, heard them, right? And okay, it's cool. And then uh, for some reason I, I got led into the side hustle show. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? What is that? And that's the best one yet, by the way. And uh, so, I'll just talk about it a little bit. So episode 286 of the Side Hustle Show, it's called uh, How to Become a Loan Signing Agent. And he references in the podcast number 215 as well. And I highly, highly encourage anybody to go over there. And um, one of the guys he interviews, so the company owner, Mark something or another, and um, sorry, I don't remember his last name. And then the other guy they interview he does like um, um, real estate or loan signing. So, for instance, you you purchase a house, and there's somebody that comes out to you, and who uh, who's a notary, and they review the documents or they give you the documents that, and you sign sign the documents for your mortgage. And everybody that buys a house has those. Um, I know probably some things online. I'm not sure how Rocket Mortgage works or whatever, but. I know, um, having experienced myself with this, somebody came out, signed the paperwork, done, done, done. Thank you, you know. And that, and in the in the podcast, they said like um, they get like anywhere from fifty to hundred bucks per signing. So the guy says like he goes out after because he works a full time job already, and so he makes like two grand a month, and he has to turn down jobs, right? So what happens is the company's or the signing uh, company will text him and say, oh, it's uh, 
I got a signing at six o'clock. Can you be there? And he, he says he responds by like a yes, or can you make it later? Uh, you know, later time. And that's how he gets, he gets jobs. So of course there's, they're pushing a course, which is good. Um, but it teaches you, you got to, I don't know what the cost of the course is, but you have, uh, you, you pay money for the course and they teach you like, uh, what all the paperwork is, what do you have to or sign here, sign there and all that. Um, I'm sure you can go to Udemy and learn it as well or Skillshare or, or the internet or Google or YouTube. You can learn it your own. Um, but this guy does it for a living. So, you know, maybe it's, uh, it's worth, uh, getting into, but that's, yeah, that's a side hustle, uh, the side hustle show, you know, cause I think everybody, right. I mean, whether you're a kid, you're 14, 13, 15, 18, whatever years old, maybe you're retired already. Maybe you're have a job already. I know a couple people that work, um, a full-time job and they work on cars afterwards, you know, whatever you want to do. But anyway, this is pretty cool, right? This side hustle, uh, side hustle show. But I hope if anybody else knows about something similar to this or any type of, any type of job, um, that you can be done from home. I know like, um, there's a couple call center jobs, um, like on the side, basically part-time jobs, uh, as a side hustle or side gig, basically, uh, please comment in the show. Just let me know your thoughts. I'd love to know what jobs you do, you know, or, um, maybe you can help out somebody else on this, uh, on this podcast. So that's it for today. Um, thanks a lot for viewing this podcast and have a great day.